Finally! Well, welcome to the third annual. It's Pancake, Pancake Day. Yeah! Woo! This Pancake. week, uh, this week, this year, brought to you by uh, Dollar Shave Club and Nature Box. We'll be talking about both of those uh, fine companies and their fine products How later in the Dollar Shave Club. The makes the best How pancakes. happy are yeah. you that I introduced you to Shrove Tuesday? How, has AKA my Pancake life. Day. So I can't believe it. it's one of those things where it's like I thought you were full of shit <laughs> and that you were absolutely just trying to fuck with us, and now we're here with a fine selection of toppings and uh, <laughs> and with professional pancake makers. I think it's the best contribution we, we have had to Rooster We have pancake makers. We have pancake makers. Professional pancake from, makers uh, from Kirby Lane. Uh, it's a local Austin. I love Kirby Lane. I love the Paris, Texas. It's a good, uh, it's a good breakfast. Are you insulted that we have professional pancake makers and not you, Bernie? No, nah, it means I get to eat like free pancakes. We'll see. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah. we, uh, we, uh, due to scheduling conflicts, I wasn't one hundred percent sure if Bernie was going to be here, so I wanted to make sure we uh, we continued the tradition of pancakes. And I'm not going to fucking cook pancakes. All right, here's why Matt's crazy. And you got you guys ask me these are things that I think that make Matt crazy. You tell me. First of all, I talked about this one thing before. When we were in college, Matt would play in the N64. <laughs> he would play this uh, Ken Griffey baseball game. Oh, and just hit home runs. Yeah, and he would play on the easiest setting, and he would play, I think it was like the Mariners were probably the best team, or the Braves were the best team on that game, and he played like the lousy, like the Kansas City Royals. I know they went to the World Series this year. They weren't good uh, when we were in college. What's wrong, Barbara? And he would sit there, and he would just crack home runs, and he would play the game for like four hours, and there's no mercy rule. And I'd walk into the living room and he'd be like up 102 to 1. <laughs> I go, what are you doing? I go, why are you playing a harder difficulty? He goes, no, nah, I'm having a good time. And he would just sit there and like hit home runs and hit home runs. Good, good training for, for timing. I watched him stamp on an HDMI cable once. It was when we were filming Captain Dynamic and he just stepped on an HDMI that was going to the monitor and like bent it. And he, he, he wasn't like, oh, my bad. He was just like, I need a new HDMI cable. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just roll with this. Yeah. Just so subtle, just so sort of chill about everything. I love you know, it. Talking about, you get close to the mic, you can hear me. Talking about Matt playing that uh, that baseball game makes me think about um, when I was in Australia with Jordan, who uh, makes animated adventures. Um, <laughs> he 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 would get up really early in the morning, like I don't know, four in the morning, to watch football games. Like to watch, he's a big Colts fan, so he wanted to watch the Colts game. And uh, of course, I didn't care. I didn't wake up that early, but. One morning I woke up and I was like, oh, I wonder how Jordan's game went. And I looked and the Colts had won by like a crazy amount, like, I don't know, 50 to 10 or something. I was like, oh, you got up early and watched the game for nothing, right? It's a huge blowout. He goes, no, it's a good game. They scored a lot of points. I was like, that's not the definition of a good game. <laughs> it's not scoring a lot of points, it's, I would imagine. I feel like good games are close games. Right. It would yeah. be a close game. Yeah. He's like, no, 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 no. Those, 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 those aren't. Give me one of these pancakes. I'll try pumpkin. this out. A pumpkin. This do is you want pumpkin. Any, Where's do you want Brandon? Any toppings? Should we get Brandon in here? I like how small uh, they're making them too. You. Just like you want, you want a plate? You see that. I got this. Would you like a pumpkin, Gav? Not really. Well, so you got anything else on that list there? That's good. You, you want All it? Right. There you go. This is something that came up just recently. So, I had to use, like, my phone died for something. We were somewhere and my phone died. Really? You know, so I asked Matt if I could use his phone to look something up. iPhone? All of you guys have iPhones? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. On iPhone, you have apps and you have pages of apps. And depending on how many apps you have installed, it's how many pages that you have. Like, you swipe to the <clears> left <throat> to go to your next batch of apps. How many pages do you have on your phone? Three. Two. Three. You, you're all the way up to three. I keep everything on one, okay? And so then I use the folders to organize hate, everything. Hate folders. What is your deal? Do you just have all your apps installed, like, on the root, and you just page between them? Yep. And you still only have three pages? Yeah. No, you must not have a lot. I have one page called Apple Pap, which is all the crap that you can't delete from your phone. So uh, that's yeah, I have a folder, folder for that stuff. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's like the bin of, like, Apple forces you to use it. Like Matt, iBooks and stuff? I use his phone. He has 16 pages of apps. What? 16 pages. Like, the bottom of his phone is just pure dots. To be fair, he has a defense for that. What is that? His kids play with his phone. That would make sense, except you scroll, and, like, page 13 is, like, a navigation app. I'm like, <laughs> why is this Why is this app, like, on a page by itself in the middle of all these other pages? What's the organizational structure here? And he's like, I don't worry about it. I'm like, how do you find it? He goes, I don't worry about it. Is he just too relaxed? <laughs> so like, oh, that, that's, why, that's why he's terrible at giving directions in L.A. He's like, hold on. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. It takes okay. him 20 minutes. <laughs> He's like, flip, 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 flip. Well, I assume Wait. he does the searching, right? That's how he finds any app on his phone. He I'm guessing he must use that. Okay. But still, you've got to have some kind of structure there. Yeah, you have to have some sort of method to your madness, I would think. It's either like the sign of like a sick mind or just like a mind that's just like totally healthy and doesn't give a shit. Like it knows, ah, oh, the phone will take care of that. I get all my dots at the bottom and I'll find stuff in there. No, that sounds about right. All right, here's, here's the last thing on my list of stuff that's crazy about Matt. Here's why, though, 
I make him navigate, even though he's really, really shitty at it when we go places, is because when he drives, he listens to the radio. Oh, no. But he listen <laughs> Listen to this, Barbara. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> but, you, know what, you know what station he listens to? Matt listens to the scan function. He hits the scan button, and he listens to three seconds of every radio station. And he and I go, are you ever going to find... It's probably Matt calling me. <laughs> I said, are you ever going to find the station you want to listen to? He goes, no, I prefer to listen to this. And I go, what? And he says, yeah, because then you just get like a little taste of everything. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's the craziest thing I've ever heard in my I've life. I've never heard of anybody listen to the radio like that. He prefers to listen to the scan function. I don't know what to think of Matt anymore. This I know, right? really weird. Yeah. That's the weirdest thing by far. That yeah. is the weirdest. Is he, is he trying to find a song he likes? No. No, you really usually want to like hear a little bit of everything. And then he hears three seconds of a song he loves. He's like, oh man, I love that song. You know, okay. I, I, hope, I hope we come back around the dial and get to it again before it's over, before he, it's done. He would make a perfect DJ. I think about it like in LA, there's like 80 <laughs> radio stations in LA. So it's like you go from like talk radio to classical to Tejano. I want to make to him three a more Tejano stations <laughs> to, to then classic rock. I want to make him a mixtape now. Just like three seconds of everything. <laughs> <laughs> do that, like, do a recap for our is, show. Is it just attention span just really short? Barbara, I have no idea. I, I've reached, I can't explain anymore. I just, there's, there's things about Matt. I've known him for 20 years. I just can't. Twitter. You're right. If you're, if you're tweeting to me, when I asked and said I'd never seen a vagina cake, I'm covered now. Thank you. I've got it. <laughs> I've got it. Ooh, I want to see. Oh, they put the things You there. sure? Yeah. There's a whole feed of these things. Oh, oh I was see, that baby I coming out? Pregnancy. There was a baby's right. head coming out. Yeah, baby's head coming out. It's a miracle life. Was in there a real part? baby? What? <laughs> no, it's not a real baby. Did they bake <laughs> a real baby mean? into a cake? Well, strippers jump out of cakes all the time. What are you talking about? <laughs> Why would they put a real baby <laughs> in a cake? Awesome if that's how you had a baby? <laughs> What's wrong with a real <laughs> How funny would it be? <laughs> a real baby in a, in a vag cake. It'd be a great way to introduce a sibling to their, their new younger sibling. <laughs> it's like, let's eat this cake. Oh no, there's a baby in it. <laughs> <laughs> eat the baby. I think that's been done. Whoever gets Since a slice the, with the baby in it, then they're I pregnant. Hope Since the start of done. time and now, a baby has emerged that's, from a vag that's cake. That's probably the, the origin of king cake, right? Isn't there like a, like a little baby in the king cake? Yeah, little Baby What's king cake? It's like another it's, Mardi Gras thing. You're not uh. familiar with that, so you guys have Shrove Tuesday. Yeah, and you have king cake. I think I think it's a French thing, right? It's a Creole thing. I think so. So it's king cake. They bake a plastic baby figurine into the cake. Oh, and then they all eat it, and then whoever gets the baby dies. <laughs> whoever gets the baby in their slice of cake, something happens. I think they I have think a baby. They have to make the cake. Is they have to make is? a baby. They, they have, have to have, have the party. They have to have the party? Oh, Gus, you would hate that tradition. Yeah. Well, you, first of all, it combines everything I hate. Seeing other people. <laughs> <laughs> and having parties. And finishing a piece of And cake. eating babies. And babies. <laughs> Dan told me an amazing story about a gorilla. Apparently, you can teach... You right? Yeah, you can teach a gorilla... <laughs> Was it cross-eyed? <laughs> <laughs> Because that would, that would be an amazing story. <laughs> Apparently you can teach a gorilla to communicate with sign language and have like real full on... Who doesn't know that? Yeah, right. Dan had to tell you that? But here's how smart the damn gorilla was. The gorilla liked cats. And uh, the gorilla wow, one day... Wow, so smart. Sorry. How does a gorilla know what a cat is? If it knows what sign language is, it knows what a cat is. It's a fluffy little cute thing in the corner. Not necessarily. A gorilla... I mean, we went from the jungle to the lab. I'm sure they're not like doing a field study where they're out there teaching a sign language in the woods, wherever they live, jungle. <laughs> so, what, maybe they see, I guess they would see a puma or like a jaguar or something like that out there. Let him finish the story, I want to Go make ahead. fun of him. And then the gorilla accidentally broke a sink that was in the cage that it was in, and when the humans came back, the gorilla blamed the cat with sign language. Oh, did it? The yeah, cat broke the like sink? <laughs> explaining to the humans that the kitten broke it. Was it like broke, smart gorilla. Broken or like ripped off the wall? Like pulled it off the wall. <laughs> <laughs> the kitten you know, jumped the, in it too It's hard. like that cat, that video of the cat knocking the, the glass off the table. <laughs> yeah. It's the same thing. The cat's like up there at the sink. They're like, no. The gorilla's like, no, 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 no. <laughs> like, the cat's like. <laughs> I just love the idea of a gorilla kind of like, he did it. <laughs> <laughs> so they learn blame. Mm. That seems like a really human trait. Well, I mean, yeah. They're like 99%. Well, what else yeah. can you talk to a gorilla about? <laughs> I don't know. What would you talk about? <laughs> what top would you five what, things you could talk to a gorilla about. What would you about? ask a gorilla? No, you got one question you can ask a gorilla. One thing you say to a gorilla. What do you say? And like... Oh. <laughs> <laughs> your sign language, dummy. <laughs> <laughs> you wasted your question. <laughs> Girl, be like, what the fuck is this? Uh, I would like to wish for more wishes, please. <laughs> the gorilla would the say, gorilla just goes, 
Listen to this crazy bitch. <laughs> what is, what's he doing? <laughs> what would you ask Gorilla? Got one question. Uh, I don't know. Um, I don't know. What do you ask a gorilla? Do you get tired of eating bananas? <laughs> <laughs> do gorillas eat bananas? I don't know. D- I don't that know. could be a question. Do I don't know bananas? anything about gorillas. Well, they say that thing about the lions, right? Like, if, if you and a lion spoke English, you still wouldn't be able to understand the lion. We've talked about this before. It still doesn't make sense to me. Because you just your frames of reference are so different. But nope. the lion won't care about what you care about, or neither would the gorilla. Wouldn't that then mean that we wouldn't have the same language? Right? Well, the language is words, isn't it? Language, yeah, language is words. So if I can, talk to, if I can speak to a, a lion, we would understand each other. I don't, I don't buy this. What would the lion talk about? Meat. Eating stuff. Being Run, chasing stuff down. <laughs> Not being a vegetarian. <laughs> it would talk to me about vegan. It would, so he'd be like, is this vegan? It would not tell you how is good that, the vegan pancake was. Be like, it'd talk to me about its gluten-free yeah. diet. I probably I honestly about. wouldn't talk to a gorilla if I had the option. Good call. Wouldn't even bother. You wouldn't? You wouldn't ask it anything? I think I would ask a gorilla, what do you hope for? I'd be curious if, like, there's any kind of concept. Does of, it know like, what hope is? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. That's what, I'd ask it to see if it would know that. Like, what is? does it look forward to anything at all? Or is it just like, hmm. just right now? Blame the sink on the cat. Like, it's just like <laughs> whatever's in front of it. Because they had to formulate that plan, right? Like, yeah, that's like, quick thinking from that gorilla. God, you, you hate uh, human contact, right? I hate human contact. Have you ever had a massage? Have I ever had a massage? Yes, I have. Did you like that? It put me to sleep. I, I passed out. I had my first one the other day as oh. a Valentine's Day gift. How was that? From Meg. And I was worried about it because I didn't want to be spoken to. I didn't want them to talk to me yeah. while they were rubbing me. And Meg was like, they probably won't talk to you if you don't say, if you give like really short answers, they'll just shut up. Maybe ask you about pressure and stuff. <coughs> I laid down in the thing, put my face in the hole, got my kit off and that, left my boxes on. The woman comes in and starts rubbing me and then says, what do you think it would be like if there were no jobs and everyone, nobody had to work and there were no jobs? I was like, what are you on about? <laughs> she was like, do you think there would be war? I was like, <laughs> what is happening? Is this, like, is this what happens all the time? And she went on for 20 minutes asking me all these like weird questions and like trying to, I guess, trying to figure out politically where I was on, on certain subjects. I've never heard of that happening to yeah. someone during the Yeah, I mean, it didn't say hi, didn't say I'm going to start on your back or anything. How's the pressure? Are you sure that was the masseuse that in. came in, not like a fan that was just like <laughs> wandered into your room? <laughs> and I, I got out and told Meg, and she was like, oh, I'm so sorry. I've, I've never heard of that before. No. She went on and on, and I was livid. I was there like this. It's like, yeah, I guess it'd be weird. I get maybe there would be wars. You still. should have pretended to be asleep. And then I was like, yeah, I guess people still would go to war because people like fighting for stuff. And she'd be like, well, what would they be fighting for? Nobody needs money. I was like, I don't know. Why are you giving me this situation? I don't care. <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> you can always say like, well, people go to war because they would get upset because people interrupted their fucking massage. Yeah. <laughs> Take you to war right now. Tell you a secret there. This is a little Gus trick for you. If they try to talk to you too much, just act like you're asleep. Well, it, I'd been on the table for a minute. I don't no. think I could have been snoring already. Oh, you, I could totally do that. I can fall asleep in a minute. You guys have seen me do it on a plane. Yeah, we've seen you fall asleep before we boarded what, the plane. What is it about a plane? Us. Like, it's not comfortable at all. I think it's the white noise. But I can sleep, even before you take off, like, instantly, I can be, I can close my eyes and fall asleep. I'm not tired. Like, I could have slept 10 hours the night before. I get on a plane, I'm like, oh, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go to sleep. Maybe it's just, like, the really stuffiness of it, and everything's kind of, like, jammed in together, so you almost feel like you're in a cocoon. I don't know. Cozy. Do you know why I won't drive? Why? Because... I Every, can't wait for this. I, I do know why you won't drive. But you? you go ahead. Why? What's your reason why you think you won't G- drive? Give me yours. Let's you're a man child. Now, what's your reason? <laughs> <laughs> okay. As a foreign person in this country, <laughs> in this country, I can very easily get deported if I break the law. They'll just be like, get out. And I'll be like, oh. Go that, ahead. There's my life gone. You know, this that country. can only happen if you're convicted. Well, of course. Like it's America. If, right. So yeah. if, I, if I break the law, whatever. Well, I law. basically have to not break the law. It's a I, felony. Every day of the year... I have absolutely zero chance of harming anyone with anything I do. I will never hurt anyone. You're, you're filming with Dan all week. Dan's this English. Week. It's okay. <laughs> I will kill never, an America. He's I will American never death. hurt an American. If I drive, I could very easily <laughs> crash into a car or accidentally run someone over. Then I'm screwed. I, I'm in the most low-risk pit, bit of my life if I don't drive. Well, I... I, I... If you're likely to have any kind of calamity at your age, it's most likely going to be an accident in a car. That's yeah, the really, most. You are correct. Right. I'm really paranoid now. Why is that? Because I drive. 
And I'm also yeah, a and foreign if you, citizen. Lots of people drive. If you you're got booty, you're fine. If you got distracted and mowed down like a family, you're in trouble. That's ruined it. You are. You are in trouble. That, 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 I, that I, is I, what the judge will say. The judge will say, <laughs> get, Mr. Gavin Free, you're in trouble. I can't mow down anyone in the passenger seat. I can try it, but I won't. I like Gavin's logic here. It's like, <laughs> wow, I just ran over a family of four. I might have to go home. <laughs> <laughs> that might be that might be the outcome of this. It's this not pre This might be a minor inconvenience Gosh, for me. That is, is a big inconvenience. A plane ticket is expensive. Selfish thing. You could I just ran them. over four people. How and did now how did I that become? I have to leave the country <laughs> because they died. <laughs> I'm not saying that's the only reason I would do it. I'm, I can never hurt anyone. I'm I'm untouchable. You literally said that's the reason. As you started that's the reason this, I don't drive. You started this conversation with the words as a foreign person. Yeah. So as a foreign person, obviously I'd be horrified. <laughs> at, the, at the four people I've mowed down. What if? Gavin, if we had not, you, we had not challenged you, do you, would you have ever said, oh, first of all, I'm horrified that I killed the four people. I, but... I felt like that was a given. How did you turn that around on me being a piece of shit? <laughs> Oops, better look for flights immediately. <laughs> How do you turn <laughs> that around? The way you presented like, it. Where did I leave my passport? <laughs> <laughs> I, no, I, mean, I would actually imagine you do this. You'd run over four people, and then you go, "Well, great." <laughs> That's exactly how Bugger I me. think you would do it. What if you were just crossing a street, not looking, and there was a car coming, and then like you moved out of the street, and the car swerved to avoid you, and then they hit something and died? That's not a crime. No, yeah. I'm not. I'm not saying it is, but you could hurt somebody. Yeah, but he's saying from a crime perspective. That's why we're. Uh, I'm also on. saying I will never do that because you don't drive. Well, I won't car cross the street without looking. I could easily lose concentration you'd be at the wheel. Your, you'd be using you, your phone. You use your phone. You, you don't walk drive all the time. because you're scared to drive. Because you did too I'm scared many. Scared of traffic. dying. You did too and many. murdering people by accident. Are you really scared of murdering people? Yeah, it's a big fear. You're not scared of killing someone in the, in the thing that goes. I'm scared of someone killing me. Let me think about that. Let me think about that. <laughs> more <laughs> so than you I made think. it about you. No, it's it's piece because... of shit. <laughs> <laughs> no, because Foreigner, I'm confident in my. Go home. <laughs> I'm confident in my driving skills. Yeah. I'm not confident in other people's driving skills. Totally. There's a bunch of damn drunks here. Everybody else is idiots. Exactly. All right. Thanks, everyone, for watching. We'll be back next Monday. Tomorrow's Ash Wednesday. For those of you who celebrate it.